Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So continuing on with the bedroom makeover series, I wanted to share with you today how we made our quick and easy show-stopping headboard. So really quick before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification if you would like to be notified when we release new videos. Also, if you have not caught the first video in this bedroom makeover series, I will link that in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So the size of these boards are one by 10 by eight and I had Home Depot cut them down to 77 inches long. That gave me a lot of wood left over, but I also wanted a big enough um, headboard to accommodate our California King bed. So I took these boards and started lining them up in the living room um, in the specific order that I wanted them to go on the wall. I had to swap a couple here and there and just kind of um, figure out where I wanted each board and the knots, where I wanted the knots and this one on the end had a little bit of a curve to it, so I wanted that one on the bottom. Now the next part was my favorite part, which is picking out the stain color for the headboard. So these are all Minwax wood finish stains. One was a classic gray, I had one in dark walnut, and I had one in Jacobian? Jacoby? If you know how to say it, leave me a comment below. So on one of the leftover pieces of wood, I wanted to try these three different stains out and see how they all looked. So first up was the dark walnut and I like to apply my stain using an old towel or an old rag. You can also brush this on. I really like to work the stain in so I prefer this way. This color was pretty close to what I was looking for. I was looking for something that was a little warm but not too dark because it would be going on a black wall but I still wanted something that would show that wood grain and give it that rustic feel. And next up was the Jacobian stain. Now this stain for me was just too dark for what I wanted and what I had envisioned. It was just going to be too dark on a black wall. This color actually is really pretty. If the wall was say like a white color, this would look really, really gorgeous. But because I have a black wall, it just wasn't gonna work for me. And last but not least was the gray color. Now this color I wanted to try just because you never know. Sometimes things surprise you, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, but it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for, although it is pretty. It does have a little bit of uh, blue or like a silvery hue with this wood. Um, but ultimately my favorite was the dark walnut. So my suggestion for staining your headboard is stain the wood first before putting it on the wall. I did it the opposite way. In hindsight, I would stain first and then put it on the wall. Now to screw the boards onto the wall, we wanted to make sure that the boards were screwed into a stud. This stud finder I found on Amazon. It was less than $30 and it always comes in handy and is so easy to use. If you're interested, I will link that in the description box below. So using the stud finder, we went all the way across the wall with it and marked wherever there was a stud. Then using a level, we got the boards situated on the wall how we would want them and then carried over those stud lines from the wall onto the board using a pencil. And following the pencil marks, I was able to screw in two screws on each pencil mark where the studs were. These are the screws that I used and these worked really well because of the brown color. So you will see in the end, once everything got stained, the brown actually looks like knots in the wood and you can't really tell that they're screws at all. They just camouflaged in really well. So it worked out really good. So total there were eight screws in each board and getting that first board up we really utilized the level to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. And lining the second board with the first one on top we just continued to screw in two screws um, right underneath the ones above them. 
if you can see what I'm talking about with the color of the screws and how they actually do just look like little knots. That was one of my favorite parts about hiding those little screws. So we ended up doing this headboard about five boards up and that worked really well because I did want like a really big statement on that wall. And that bottom board meets in the perfect place at the top of our bed so it all fits together very nicely. So if you stained your wood ahead of time, you would be done right now, but I didn't, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the process. If you didn't do that, here is how I did it. So using an old rag and a pair of rubber gloves, I put the stain on and I really like to work the stain in with the old towel instead of a paintbrush. That's just how I've always done it. So you can see the stain really getting in there with the grain in the wood and that rich brown warm color is exactly what I was looking for for this space. And if you are staining this on the wall, I found it helped to mask off your walls just so that you don't get stain on your walls. I did have to do a little bit of touch up after this, but that's okay. And here is what it looked like when it was all done. I am super happy with it. It's very minimal, simple, quick, easy, and inexpensive. And I just love the way that it makes this space feel. And a bedroom makeover would not be complete without all of the decor and fun stuff that goes with it. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit subscribe to stay tuned for all of the following videos. That will be the next one coming up. If you're interested in anything in this video, I'm going to link as much as I can below. So don't forget to check out the description box. And I just want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. We've seen so much growth with this channel so far, and I cannot wait to take you guys along on this journey with us. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.